Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Trucker Rudy coming to you this fine morning. Yeah, it is finally time to leave this flying hook. Yeah, we've been quite lazy today about uh, working because. I knew that we were going to be low on hours, so... Uh, 100 meters, slide right on, Cockney Way, and then take the entrance to the left in 300 meters. So I decided to sleep her in, and then there was another penner driver that I kind of knew from uh, back in the day when we used to work for Ike Buchert. He worked for him as well, just like me, and... Uh, so I've been talking to him for a while and then I did a little Facebook live show there and all that good stuff so but I finally got out of there now so uh, we calculated our hours out and uh, I only In had 11 meters, take the entrance to the left on highway 1 east salmon arm 11 and 3 quarter hours left for today and tomorrow I only get three and a half back so Basically, uh, 11 three quarters and three and a half has to be enough for today and tomorrow. That's all I have. So I figured, you know what? That only leaves me on duty time with just over seven and a half hours for today and tomorrow. So I would have seven and a half, a little over seven and a half for each day, today and tomorrow. So I said, well, then there is no use for me getting out of here super early, right? So I decided I'm just going to take a real easy and do my thing. Added it up a video there that this morning and all that good stuff. So, so yeah, here we are. Finally getting back on the road. But yeah, look at them gorgeous mountains up here for sure. Now these are not the biggest ones that we have out here, but they're still beautiful. Yesterday you guys didn't really see too much of the mountains because it was so... Uh, foggy and all that stuff so I wasn't really able to show you too much of the big mounds but looks like today is going to be a better day for weather wise so you might be able to see a little bit more of the mountains today Continue on this road for 93 kilometers yes indeed so let's put the hammer down and let's get the, a few miles in today I appreciate you guys tuning in for the for today's show beautiful day as it is I hope you guys are having a fantastic day like I am I've had a fantastic morning so far so so yeah that's hit the road and uh, well we are on the road but let's put the hammer down let's get some miles in. to go up to Revelstock, BC. 
and this is one of the stretch where we will see some pretty big hills as well although I think the biggest and steepest and longest hill I think we have gone through that yesterday we still got some pretty decent climb up here but it's uh, I don't think it's quite as long and as steep as uh, the one that we had to climb there yesterday but uh, yeah we are definitely uh, cruising along right here and got a couple of campers ahead of us there they're going a little slower but uh, hey, that's to be expected out here you know two-lane highway you can't pass them you know that's just the way it goes but yeah we got some pretty big hills up here that's for sure although right now you don't see it but we will get to it here in a minute or two well I don't know if about in a minute or two might be a bit more than a minute or two but uh, yeah in a little bit we will be climbing Rogers Pass and all that stuff some of you might know what Rogers Pass is or where that is I know I remember a long time ago somebody was watching and they know exactly where Rogers Pass is yeah but yeah that's what we will be doing here and got a little bit uh, kind of going in between the mountains here right now at the moment you know like we got a big hill on that side we got a big hill on this side so right now at the moment we're kind of in between them but uh, later on we'll be sort of trying to go over one at least <laughs> yeah there's even a little river right there beautiful uh sceneries up here that's for sure you got a lot of tourists up here going camping and sightseeing and all that good stuff just like you guys are getting to do right now as you watch in my video yeah i hope you guys are taking it in as well i know i get a lot of compliments especially from the uk people sweden and all them countries like they're always saying we got a beautiful country up here and and we do we really do have a beautiful country up here especially in summer I mean it's just absolutely breathtaking over here you know the beautiful sceneries you get to see I mean I don't go here on a regular basis so every once in a blue moon you'll get to see these mountains up here so especially for those that have been new to my channel I haven't been here probably in a couple of months so I've gotten several new ones uh, since then so if you have never seen this you know this is something that is very beautiful and I appreciate you guys tuning in yes I do because I I really love sceneries and stuff like that I know some of you do too so that's why you're watching some of my videos and, and some of you guys like my home videos too so I like to show a little variety of different stuff, you know. But anyways, we'll continue cruising along here and we will show you what we usually do. Whatever we can, right? Or whatever we find interesting. Alright guys, we got another little scenery up here. Yeah, look at this uh, river lake slash whatever you want to call it up here to the left. Yeah, this is the stretch that I filmed here in winter time just around the corner here where that red building is up there that's where we had a uh, semi truck that was jackknifed in the winter time yeah how many of you guys remember that clip leave a comment down there below if you remember that clip seeing that clip yes indeed except I was traveling the other way when I come through here yeah this is a very big tourist uh, attraction right here they got all kinds of tourists always coming up here but <clears throat> right here uh, against where this building is that's where that truck was jackknife it coming around the curve like this and uh, yeah I guess he took the corner too fast and uh, he kind of jackknifed her right into the corner over here somewhere right about here somewhere that's where he was jackknifed I think right there that's where he was jackknifed into he came around too fast and he kind of jackknifed her in there but yeah it can be dangerous up here in winter time that's for sure I mean so many corners up here and you know the corner could be a little bit icy and you don't realize it you got maybe not the best tires and you might have a 
you know, going a little fast for conditions and you might not realize it's that slippery or icy and you come around that corner and that trailer goes away on you, well, you're going with it. <laughs> you're attached to the trailer, you're going with it, <laughs> no matter what. But yeah, anyways, just had to uh, show you guys that a little bit. And yeah, see, now you, can, uh, now you can see what it looks like in summer. You've seen already what it looks like in winter. Now you know what it looks like in summer. That's for sure. Alrighty guys, hopefully the camera will do justice on this big mountain up here. Yeah, just the one here, just around the corner. You see way up there? There's actually clouds touching that mountain up there and there's still uh, snow way up there. Yes, I hope the camera is gonna do justice on it. I know the GoPro can sometimes be a little deceiving on things, you know? But yeah, absolutely gorgeous big mountain up there. I think we're just about to hit that Rogers Pass here in a little bit. So uh, I remember that big mountain being up here by Rogers Pass, close by Rogers Pass. So, uh, so yeah, we should be starting to climb up the big mountain here. Well, it's been kind of going up and down over the last little while, but you know, I can hear the truck slowing down right now. It doesn't look like we're going up, but we actually are. Yeah, you hear that? The truck is pulling uh, all it's can. All it's got right now. Yes, indeed. But yeah, big mountains. That is a fact, guys. For sure. You see how we go in between these mountains up here now? Yeah. Anyways, we'll continue cruising along. Here we go, guys. We got more tunnels. Yeah. I think this is the stretch where we have like five of these in a row. Yeah, these are like snow sheds or whatever you want to call them. If there's an avalanche, the snow goes over to here uh, so that way it doesn't block the highway. Yeah. So. Looks like we even got a train track way down there in the bottom. I don't think the camera would ever see that, but but yeah, they even had a snow shed over the train track up there too. So that way the train track doesn't get uh, too high of a pile of snow, I guess. But yeah, quite interesting, don't you think so? Yeah, I would think so. Might be a little hard to see with the camera, but I would think you should be able to see it most of it anyways so there you have it you saw a few uh, few of the tunnels anyways I think we got two more to come I think I could be wrong but I think they're further down the road a little bit but yeah absolutely gorgeous areas up here so why not film it right show you guys hey guys isn't this gorgeous to look at what do you say a big mountain straight ahead of us eh yeah I think that is gorgeous to look at that's for sure I am thinking I got a short somewhere in my wirings every once in a while it's jerking a little bit so seems like it only does that when I'm on lower rpm so there is a vibration somewhere in the truck that causes a little bit of a loose connection somewhere and when I have lower RPM the truck vibrates more and then that's when I get a little bit of a kickback you know like I don't know what is doing it but uh, I'm definitely getting it when I'm on lower RPM so I'm a little worried about that but uh, we can't be too worried right just gotta continue driving along here and Hope for the best, I suppose. But yeah, it's worrying some, that's for sure. I can't afford to repair the truck again, you know. It's just, uh, I've done it. I have a big enough outstanding bill without uh, having another bill, you know. Yeah, these four wheelers, eh? Right lane is closed up here and I just gotta get around, YouTube. 
Like they did that with that uh, camper there, you know? You just have to go around them, right? But yeah, seems like we will be climbing a big hill up here. Yeah, that's what it feels like. So we'll put our uh, four-way flashers on so let everybody know we're going a little slower. Yeah, looks like that truck up ahead of me there is even going slower than what I am. Looks like he's pretty heavy. See if I can get around him. Yeah, I should be able to. Nobody coming now, so we'll get around him if we can. Yeah, it looks like he's got three axles there on the trailer, so he's probably way heavier than me. So that's why I am passing him. Looks like they cut some logs up here. Eh? Yes, they're clearing some bush up here. Eh? Yeah. See, now I'm driving a little bit higher RPM. I don't get no, none of this shaking. But there earlier, I don't know if you noticed it on the camera, but it was giving me a little jerks there, so. Yeah, that's not good. That's worrying some, so. Not sure where that connection could be bad, but there certainly is somewhere a bad connection. But. Anyways, we'll continue on cruising along and hope we make it home. That's all. I'm just leaving Golden BC right now. And this is a stretch where first little couple of few miles anyways is where uh, you got a very deep drop off over there to the right. And we got to climb this big hill up here. And it's very sharp corners up here. Right here it's not bad, but they're a little bit further down the road you will see very very sharp corners I guarantee you that and I have shown it before but you know what we're gonna show it again yeah right here it might look like we're gonna go downhill for a little bit but after that we're going up oh yeah we're gonna go up a long ways that's for sure there used to be these uh, goats or whatever you call them cheap yeah, that's what they say, but they have already created a fence there to the right to keep them off the highway. They used to come right up here at the edge of the highway. Eh? But it looks like they have finally made uh, some kind of uh, effort to keep them off, off the highway. Eh? Well, it looks like we're going down to a single lane up here. And this is where it goes down to 40 kilometers an hour speed limit and very, very slow. Look at that, there's a couple of guys up there very slow going around them corners up there already. Probably a heavy truck up there somewhere, so we're gonna gear her down and slow down, yeah. Looks like we might be slowing down to low gears even. Yeah, we're in fourth gear right now. Yeah, this would be bad breaking down over here. I guarantee you that. And like I told you earlier, I was having some issues, so that would not be good. But take a look over there to the right, ladies and gentlemen. That is a long way down, guys. I would not want to go off this cliff. <laughs> I guarantee you that. That would be incredible to go down that steep hill. I don't want to try it, don't want to attempt it. Yikes. Yeah, that's bad when people almost come to a stop up here, you know, like it. Hard to get going again, that's for sure. But yeah, this is what I was telling you guys. Is these are dangerous corners and hills up here. Yep, you definitely want to follow the speed limit up here, I guarantee you that. Yeah, look like we got somebody pulled over here. Looks like that old camper might have gotten hot. <laughs> yeah, I passed that old camper earlier, but uh, hopefully he's all right. Oh, uh, looks like they're just going up there for a little look. Oh, they got their hood open, so they're probably cooling her off right now. Yeah, probably getting hot going up this hill. Like, eh? I wouldn't be surprised. Even my truck is starting to get a little bit on the hot side, but. We had our radiator washed out there when we uh, rebuilt the front of uh, the top end of the engine there. So we're pretty good. Like the fan is able to cool her off pretty good. I'm impressed. Like uh, last year when I come through here, the summertime, 
my engine was actually starting to get really hot but that's no longer the case right now anyways I haven't had the issue where uh, my alarm would actually come on and uh, and uh, well it looks like that guy is having trouble difficulties shifting gears that's what the problem is the guy ahead of us there I guess he's missing gears he's not very good at shifting I guess he just about came to a stop up there <laughs> Yikes, yeah, he's, uh, he's probably uh, not very used to driving these mountains, probably. He's probably a little scared. <laughs> and he just about came to a stop right here. I'm, I'm down to like second gear right now. Yikes. Yeah. But it is, you know, you want to be careful up here, that is for sure, but... I bet you that's a few hundred feet down there. Oh yeah, that's probably three, four hundred feet down there. If not more, you know. But you see, now it's starting to go up. Uphill, uphill, uphill. You really gotta know how to shift your gears up here, that's for sure. Yeah, I just about uh, missed my gear there. For some odd reason it didn't want to slip into fifth gear, you know. Like my truck is a little bit bad from the fourth to the fifth gear. Mine is terribly. It's it's a big difference, you know. So I gotta get real high RPMs and then it drops all the way down, you know. Because my RPMs they drop so low, you know. But yeah, these guys are having a hard time getting up this hill it looks like. But I don't blame him. It is a big hill to climb, I guarantee you that. It, it's bad on the camera, you know, the camera never really actually does justice on these things, you know, like with the camera system that I got, they, it doesn't look as bad as what it actually is, is what I mean to say, you know, it actually is steeper than what it looks on camera, it doesn't look bad on camera, but you try it yourself, come up here with a big semi truck, and you will know what I mean. Or for those of you that have driven a semi truck up here, they know what it is. No, I don't need to tell you guys. <laughs> I guarantee you that. Oh, look at these uh, things they got here to the left. Supposedly that's supposed to stop the rocks from falling onto the road, but looks like they have had quite a few rocks come down here too. Yeah, it looks like we're just about through this area, so uh, I guess we'll continue on rolling down the road and. We'll show you what we can right ladies and gentlemen it is time to leave british columbia behind us yes indeed it is Speed well, what does that mean that means we're going to be going into well none other than alberta yeah look at that welcome to alberta the wild rose country yeah that's what they say that's what they claim. Crossing border, entering Alberta. There you Changing have it. Changing time zone. Changing time zone too? All right. I guess we will believe ya. Yeah. Now we, uh, we got a, about 175 kilometers to uh, the west side of Calgary. And I think we're going to be spending the night in Calgary. That's the plan anyway. So uh, my cousin says he's down there at the Fly and J in Calgary. So I might go meet up with him for a little bit. And maybe have dinner with him and have a good chat with him. You know, haven't talked to him in a good while. So, well, on the phone, yes, but I mean in person, right? I haven't seen him in months, you know, so it'd be good to uh, go talk to him, you know, and in person again, have a good chat, so anyways, we are in Alberta now. Alright guys, we have made it down here to the Fly and J here in Calgary, yeah, this looks like still quite a bit of parking left in here, but uh, yeah, we already had dinner with my uh, cousin there, so 
had us a good talk with him and stuff like that so i appreciate you meeting up with me there and uh yeah i know we didn't videotape any of it but i decided you know what uh, not today but we are done for today so we're gonna go to bed here pretty soon and then uh we'll see you right here tomorrow morning on truck rudy we appreciate you guys watching today if you're new to our channel we would love to have you hit that subscribe button down there below and follow our daily journey as we try to have a video daily although it's not always a daily video but we try you know about 98 percent i would say we're doing daily videos so if you're uh, on my channel we appreciate it so we'll see you right here again tomorrow morning it's time to get going it's time to move on put this behind me that day is gonna come